Hello beautiful people, I hope you're safe and healthy. Today we are going to review Harley Benton Dullahan. Han. Han. I think that's what it's called. Okay, let's talk about the guitar, like all the features that you get and later on we'll get to the part of being headless. So you get... What was the wood? I need to check. Okay, I'm ready. So you get elder body, which is all painted in matte black finish. Then you get maple fretboard and maple neck, one piece each. You get side inlays, so sweet, sweet side inlays. Uh, you also get, oh, I just dinged it. Oh, and you also get Russell pickups. Then you have one tone knob and one volume knob with five way switch, mono each string bridge. And then you have Harley Benton's own headstock piece. That's where you change the strings. It's made in Indonesia. It does have, I think there are extra jumbo stainless steel frets. You get 24 black blacksmith stainless steel jumbo frets. You also get, there was something else in, about the guitar. Uh-huh, you get graph tech nut up here. This tiny, tiny thing, the nut itself is graph tech. Other than that, you get a lot of wood that is missing, right? So let's talk about headless guitars and why you should get it. Uh, as you can see, they have taken off as much wood as they could have taken. You get a nice bevel from here. If you can see, you get there. Wood has been removed here. Then you have the back arc, but as you have the matte thing it will always get your fingerprints so it is a bit of a hassle to keep it clean the fretboard itself is extremely good it's very smooth since maple does not have so many grains nice to maintain and it gets dirty pretty easily you are able to see it but the clean part takes five minutes to clean the whole thing today i actually changed the strings i put on elixirs you get a couple of tools that are included in the guitar but you'll only need two Allen keys, the smallest one and the big one, to unlock the two small screws that are located on the bridge side of the guitar and the other one is located on the neck side of the guitar. You unscrew the string on the headless spot of the guitar. Just be careful because if you open up the screws all the way, it might fall down and there's a small, very thin piece of material that is between the string and the nut which you might lose and then there can be trouble. Once you're done with that, you have to unscrew the bridge pod and remove the string. So with everything ready, like all my strings in there, it took me around four minutes and 30 seconds to get the whole guitar tuned, you know, a little bit you because while you are playing the strings, you cannot move the tuner tuning peg. So you have to push and then turn the knob. You have to plug the string, turn the knob, plug the string, turn the knob, and you have to repeat it over and over till you get whole guitar tuned. Oh, oh, ho, 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 before I forget, the cavity is pretty all right. When I bought the guitar, it had this plug it in an amp. It used to buzz a lot. So I had to take off the bridge. I have to get the, as you can see, there is this small, tiny, tiny plate. Yeah, right there on the bridge, which keeps the saddle up high. It provides height that it needs for string action. And I had to take it out because it was all matte color. It felt like it was not able to touch the ground wire. So I had to peel it off. I also signed, I put my little autograph there and I put it back. If you're able to take that paint, then it's a perfect guitar. It's so small. It's one of the, it's the only guitar actually that I just take anywhere I want to. It is actually a gift from a friend, from a dear friend who promised that he would build a guitar for me, but then he didn't, he just left the country. And yeah, I have been extremely enjoying it. It's currently tuned to E standard, a very beautiful guitar. You get also the truss rod adjustment over here which is a very modern spec. Usually, I think on Strandbergs and others, you get it here. But on new Ibanez Q series, you also get it here. All in all, a very beautiful guitar, lightweight. I have to say there is no, when you strap it on, there is no neck dive, perfectly balanced. In the beginning, I remember I was like, oh man, this is such a cool guitar. I, I can always just carry it around well, for fun. And it also comes in this not very good, good, not very well-made gig bag. As you can see, I already have my struggles with the gig bag. It's already 
had some issues but all in all you know you can take your guitar from one place to another and at this price point i think it matters it's like i think i bought it for 333 or something like that 333 euros 333 euros i mostly bought this particular guitar for for when whenever i use a pick and i play my heavier music i tend to pick quite hard and i play drop b tuning but for standard tuning i most of the time just use my fingers and i just play it like pretty resonant guitar you can have fun with it and you know whenever inspiration hits you should always make sure that this is the guitar that is closest to you I i'll also say the neck is a little bit thick but nothing that will nothing like fender thick or nothing like those chinese cheap guitars because before this i bought that and it was a piece of shit but other than that i do know that a couple of people have removed this harley benton logo and they find Ibanez mark over there but yeah it doesn't matter it's a very beautiful guitar for 333 euros you get an absolute beautiful guitar that is easy to play maybe you'll struggle a little bit in the beginning when you have to change the strings because i did all in all a very solid guitar and now we get to the tones Haha, <laughs> that was a wrong note.
Hey, it's me again. I hope you enjoyed whatever you watched. And in any case, if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. If you have any experience with the headless guitars, or if you want to buy one, please let me know. And yeah, hope to see you next time. Please, how do I say it? Share, subscribe, and do all the things that is necessary so that next time whenever I post something, you get to know about it. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.